What's poppin' y'all? This your boy Bishop, back for episode 34 of Shit That Be On My Mind. If you like what I be saying, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Today we're gonna talk about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Okay. They done made their move. They want to step back from the senior role of being in the royal family. You know, and it's looking like, you know, Prince Harry is riding with his lady and whatnot. But I can imagine all the hate, all the vile shit that they spewing on at that woman, man. She only half black, dude. Half black. Just imagine if she was full black, boy. You understand? Her mom is black. Her dad is white. And she's from Canada. Okay? So I feel like this break that they want to take is mostly her part. That's my theory. Everybody got their theories. Everybody putting out their theories of what it is and what it ain't. My theory is the lady tired. You know what I mean? You only can take so many threats and, you know, you got a baby now. You know what I mean? And one thing, if any man or, well, any man, because women already know. But if any man watching this, black, white, orange, or purple, when a woman have a baby, man, her whole mindset change. Well, it's supposed to. So majority of women, when they have a baby, their mindset changes about the baby. Totally. You know what I mean? So when she get the threats before before she was pregnant, she probably was able to handle it. You know, like, okay, cool. They don't like me. I understand that. I'm part black and I'm in the royal family. Woo, woo, woo. But now she got the baby. She like, oh, this shit, this shit dead. So she probably told Harry, like, listen, man, I don't feel safe. You know what I mean? You say you're my husband. Woo, woo, woo. Then he got to go to his, 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 the, the queen and say, hey, look, we want to take a step back. We don't want to be the senior roles of the royal family no more. They ain't got no, the queen ain't got no choice. So as you see, when she came out and made her little statements and whatnot, she didn't like it. You know what I mean? But she ain't got no choice. Because at the end of the day, what he what he going to do? You know what I'm saying? Because if she decided to go, like, he going to be looking crazy. Like, he ain't got, you know, uh, I ain't going to say control, you know, but um, a handle on his marriage. You know what I mean? Because he in a royal family, so, you know, he got this whole prestige and all this, you know, bullshit that everybody be... It's like a fantasy world, man. That shit ain't real. People have disagreements. People don't People don't get along sometimes. You know what I mean? But they got to come out in front of the people since they the royal family and act like they this, that, and the third. So he ain't got no choice but to look like, man, I'm riding with my wife. You know, we're going to take a step back. We're going to go to Canada. We're going to be on our own. This, that, and the third. Now, that's cool. Now... How long that's going to last? See? Because the queen is the queen, now. Huh? Now, white supremacy is white supremacy. Shit don't change. See, they're giving y'all the illusion, and I'm speaking to the black women now, you know, that got this fantasy of being with a white man. See, they got that. They, they, they using certain things as propaganda. See, they got y'all thinking, you know, Prince Harry is going to just throw it all away for this half black woman. Oh, he'll throw it away for a minute. But I guarantee you that he's not going to fuck up. He going to fall in line when it's time to fall in line. If it's time for them to come back and be in a senior role, uh, Megan ain't going to have no choice. So if she decides to not, you see what happened to Prince Diana. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? For you black women who out there got this fantasy and thinking white people or white men ain't going to. Listen, at the end of the day, they gotta, they've got they been around for centuries on top of centuries. You think they're going to let one, excuse my French, measly half-black woman fuck up the royal family? If they kill Prince Diana, which it's a theory, but come on, man, you can put it together. She was with the, 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 the Arab dude. They said she possibly was pregnant. And come on, man, you could just, any smart person could put it together, man. You know what I'm saying? That something, something fishy with that, period. You know what I mean? So if they're off her and she all white, you don't think they're off her? You don't, you don't think they'll take her out? <laughs> just think about that for a minute, man. They will take her ass out, man. So at the end of the day, I, I respect and I commend Prince Harry, but I know white supremacy does not change. You understand? It does not change. They're not going to fuck up what they've been having for centuries and years on top of years, man, for no pussy. It's just not going to happen, man. It, it just ain't going to happen.
So at the end of the day, she gonna take they they gonna take their little break. But I guarantee you, when the queen need them to play their role and tell Prince Harry, hey, get that little bitch in line, she gonna either have to get in line or something gonna happen to her. And that's just my theory. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's my take on it. That's all I gotta say. Y'all have a good day. Peace.